this band that I'm touring with right now, El Rayo, has been put together to play the songs from my new record that's going to be released early next year. And the record was mainly a collaboration between myself and Raul Fernandez, who's a friend and producer from Barcelona. The record is built on acoustic guitar and electric guitar, but for the last few years I've been pretty interested in uh, playing acoustic guitars and getting deeper and deeper into the sound of acoustic instruments. And for me it's a really big step in a different direction sound-wise. We were building things up and there's strings and horns and, you know, live instruments and all kinds of stuff, lots of singing and lots of harmonies. We live in the 21st century, you would think that certain mentalities would be going away. And, um, well, it's always hard to say how, how much of a force music can be, but if there's a way to help mobilize or just keep the word out there, you know, I've been using my social media a little bit to just, just you know, in a personal way to say, you know, this sucks, I'm really unhappy that this is the, the way it is. And I think we all we're kind of hoping for a new era with Hillary in the White House and a continuation of Obama's policies, which I think Trump is going to dismantle in his first hundred days or something like that. It's, it's really scary to me. You know, I miss the camaraderie of the other three, but I, I have to say uh, right now that one thing that happened towards the end of Sonic Youth, it was very difficult for us to play intimate shows. You know, we were playing bigger and bigger shows, and I think all of us are really happy now that we're able to play smaller shows. And certainly if I'm playing acoustic guitar, I'm playing really intimate little rooms, churches or libraries or museums, not your typical rock club. We're all really happy right now doing what we're doing and having the chance to do these different things. But we had a 30-year run. It's like remarkable for a band of the kind that we were. So, you know, I feel very lucky and, and continue to feel lucky to be able to do new things right now.